Rain chances, yes, 100% for tomorrow on your Monday. Also, we're watching for a flooding potential. Also watching for a low severe weather threat with that too. Rain continues into your Tuesday. Rest of the week after that is looking pretty dry. Overnight for tonight, temperature is pretty mild. We're in the 40s to around 50 degrees. Those winds still, again, pretty breezy out of the south at about 20 miles per hour. Now, the morning you head out the door, 7, 8 a.m., it's going to be dry. It is going to be cloudy, though, and windy. By the time we get to the late part of the morning, we have more of these rain showers and heavy downpours move on in and then all throughout the afternoon we are watching for some thunderstorms some uh, strong to severe but also watching for heavy rain and a flooding potential as well for your evening commute tomorrow on your Monday highs because of the rain because of the clouds we're only going to be in the 50s so feeling much cooler than what it was for today here's a look at that severe weather threat pretty much if you split Oklahoma in half south of I 40 is where we do have that level one out of five mainly watching for some hail uh, quarter size tail 60 mile per hour winds there is a very low tornado threat, about a two out of five far southwestern Oklahoma with a few storms. I'm not too concerned about that. Most of that severe weather is going to be staying south of the Red River in Texas. Let's time this out here Monday morning. Again, don't necessarily need that umbrella. It's by mid to late morning. Rain starts to move on in some lighter showers by noon, one, one o'clock tomorrow on your Monday. More heavier downpours move on in and just take a look at this during the afternoon. We are talking about a soaking rain continuing northern, central, southern Oklahoma, and this continues all throughout the afternoon until about your evening commute. So during that time frame, a lot of heavy rainfall. Watch for some of that ponding, especially east of I-35. We will be also watching for a few of those strong to severe storms south of I-40 in the evening hours. By the time that you head to bed tomorrow night, some of that rain will try to wrap on up, but then we still see it continuing on your Tuesday. A little bit of some light rain showers there for your Tuesday evening. Those of you far northwestern Oklahoma might see a little bit of some snow flurries with this. There is going to be a flash flooding potential along I-35 and east of there, mainly because of how much rainfall we are seeing in just about a day. About an inch, yes, an inch of rainfall in OKC potentially, and then east of there, closer to about two inches. So that is a lot of rain to fall. Uh, in just about 24 hours of that day time frame there. So that's why we do have that flooding potential. Also that low end severe threat for your Monday. Tuesday, no severe weather possible with that, but still some of that rain continuing on there. And then we have those 50s continuing for the rest of the week. By the weekend, we start to see 70s again.